But this time I'm going to talk about timing, equipment, officials, and players. Hey, cool it, fellas. I got something to say. Howdy, fans. Peter Puck here to lay some facts on you about hockey, the world's fastest team sport. Now, the playing time of a hockey game is 60 minutes, composed of three 20-minute periods, separated by two 15-minute intermissions. Now, to begin with, before the game even starts, I'm given a deep freeze. Woo! That's to take a little of the bounce out of my hard rubber body. By doing the game, would you believe... I travel around this rink at speeds over 100 miles an hour. And that's pretty fast for a little guy measuring one inch thick by three inches wide. <laughs> now let's look at our field of play. It's called a rink, and not a rinky-dink rink either. 200 feet long and 85 feet wide. Almost large enough to contain four basketball courts. The wooden sides of the rink are referred to as... What else? The boards. And above the boards, there's shatterproof glass. See what I mean? Beneath that ice are the markings we call the center red line and the two blue lines dividing the rink into a middle neutral zone and offensive and defensive zones. At each end are the goal lines with the goals themselves. They are four feet high and six feet wide. That rectangle before the goal is called the crease and only the goalie is allowed there unless I happen to slip in, and then it's fair territory for anybody. Whoop. Hey, watch Hey, watch it! Hey, wow! These circles and dots are used for face-offs. That's starting play. These are the players' benches and separate penalty boxes. Now about the officials. There is a referee, two linesmen, and two goal judges, plus some clock watchers and a scorekeeper. The referee, in the striped shirt and orange armbands, is the boss. He's in charge. He starts the game, calls penalty, lays down the law, and his decision in all disputes is final. The referee is assisted in his work by two linesmen. Same kind of uniform, but no armbands. The linesmen determine offsides, icing, some penalties, face-offs other than center ice. And they control conduct on the ice. No fighting is permitted, and offenders are removed from play. The penalty timekeeper keeps track of the player's time in the sin bin. Uh, the penalty box, that is. Now, at each end of the rink, we have another official, the goal judge. One sits behind each goal in a glass booth. When I, Peter Puck, cross the red goal line completely, the judge turns on a red light. The red light remains on for 12 seconds and is sometimes accompanied by a buzzer or siren, depending on the arena. The scorekeeper keeps score and the statistics, while the timekeeper keeps time. What else? Now for the players. A team has 17 skaters and two goalkeepers. A team puts six men on the ice. A center, right wing, left wing, right defense, left defense, and goaltender. And the same applies to the opposing team. Now the game is basically simple. The two teams attempt to zap me. Up oh, there you have it. The fastest team sport in the whole world. It may be rough and tough on a puck, but love that hockey game.